Welcome to C++ programming. In today's lesson, we're going to learn what is function overloading. Function overloading is in C++ programming a technique where we can have multiple functions with the same name but with different data types as parameters. Now, why would we need this? Let's say, for instance, we have a square function that would receive a integer value as the parameter and then calculate the square of that integer value. And then we also have the need to determine the square of a floating value. But in a normal case, we need to write a different function with a different function name to enable us to determine the square of that floating value. But function overloading enables us to have the same function name for multiple functions with different data types. And for that case specifically, it will be helpful because square for an integer value and square for a floating value is in essence the same thing. And now we do not have to remember two function names. We can just use one function name for both of the functions. So let's jump into the coding and see how function overloading will be implemented. So in code blocks, we will create a new empty file. We will save this as function overloading dot cpp. Oops. PP. And we will save this. We will start with our hash include iostream, that's our input and output library. We will say using namespace std, and this will enable us to use the shorthand of the cout and cin statements. And then we declare our main function. And there we have it. We build and run this just to check that the program executed successfully so that we know we can continue with our program. And as you can see, it did. So now let's go and create two functions with the same name. The first function will be int square int in. And the second function will be double square double a. So we've got two functions with the same name. And what we would do now is we, are, we will have int input and let's call this int input i and double in put d and then we will ask the user to give us some input so input integer value <coughs> and then we will use the c in statement to get that first input input i and then after that we want to get input double value. We don't, we just need to remember our semicolons and then the same we will get input D. And then what we can do is we can say C out and we can do the this we can say square of input i is then square input i in line. And we can do the same for the 
square of input D is square input D great so now we've got two functions that will calculate the square of an integer and the square of a double value and now we need to go and write those functions so we will go and write these functions and it will actually be as easy as n times n and the same for the double function n times n and now we've got a function called square that can receive integers and doubles and it does not matter it will calculate the square of an integer or a double for us and that is function overloading so let's see this now in our command prompt so as is let's see input integer value so i enter five now i'm getting in input a double value so let's say 5.5 .5. the square of five is 25 and the square of 5.5 .5 is 30.25 and there you have it. We've got now two functions with the same name, but with different data types. And that is function overloading. Function overloading enables us to have multiple functions with the same name, but with different parameterless data types. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you soon.